hello guys welcome to the current series of jmeter tutorial for beginners so in this video we're going to learn about jmeter test plan and how we can generate user load so let us just quickly switch over to jmeter now so the question that you would have in your mind is what is what is a test plan you've already seen this thing here in your say system in your jmeter for so long but what this is so this is something that is the basic of the test right whatever test you would want to run this comes under test plan and say this manages a lot of things actually for example how the test is going to be executed right what all things are there to be executed in the test right and say how the threads would be executing as well okay so there are a lot of things that this specifies this looks very simple but over here you can see that you can specify the user defined variables here right you can specify that whether the thread should be executed in sequentially or say all the thread groups should be started parallelly so you can specify these things here right now over here what we can do is that this is our test plan which is already created we learned about it in the last lecture how we can create it now we specified few users here and it was just five users or ten users now the question is how we can generate a user load for large number of users right now for this what we need to have in mind is we need to have two things in mind so what are those things first one is that how many users needed right second thing for how much time we need to say generate the load right for example let us have a quick scenario about it say we are having we need to have 500 users coming in how much time one hour right we can have this right this is this is possible how we can do that then so over here what i would be doing is i would be doing something in so we will be specifying the number of users here say 500 right now we need to specify one hour here because the test should be executed 500 users should be coming in one hour right now this is in seconds right so how we can convert seconds into minutes simply open calculator and here in calculator you need 60 minutes one hour is 60 minutes right into 60 every minute is having 60 seconds and so this means that 3600 seconds is the time you need to specify here 3600 right now all you have to do is that specify the loop count as one if you want to say get this um, sample executed once per user right and we can choose this option that is delayed thread creation until needed it doesn't affect a, a lot so you can even keep this unchecked that is not a issue right and there are other things as well that is thread lifetime if you would want to specify some thread delay you can and say before starting up i want 10 seconds delay right we can do that i won't be specifying any delays right now i won't be specifying the thread lifetime as well duration is what like if your say test is executing a particular user is executing these three steps now it may take one second it may take two seconds it may take 10 seconds so we can specify the maximum duration that it would not execute for more than 10 seconds right it will stop executing it right so this part is done we won't be specifying anything here now now as you can see that we have planned a user load of 500 users for one hour right now we can execute this test so over here when i execute this test what we need to do is we need to have something added over here a listener which would allow us to see 
more detailed data so let us just add a listener and that is view results and table okay now here let us just run this now you can see that the samples have started to execute and every few seconds a new user would be coming and executing right we have a failing request let me just stop this test first and let us just disable the failing request so control T is the shortcut to enable or disable the item once it is disabled it will show the text in gray color it, once it is enabled it will show the text in white color whenever it is highlighted and in normal the black color right now let us just flush out everything and let us just start executing this test again and you can see that first user is executed the next user would be coming and the next user would be coming again right so over here now 500 users would be coming in this particular time right now after how many seconds a new user would be coming this is the thing right so let us just see that now so over here in my calculator let me just open calculator so here we had 3600 seconds we had 500 users right so every 7.2 seconds a new user would be coming up right so one minute has passed and 10 users have executed so this is how the test is going to be executed and in a total of one hour all the 500 users would be executed right so this is how you can work with it. Thank you.